quadratic formula using the formula. If ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I recommend that you write down this formula and that you put it in front of you so that you can able to use it until you get it memorized. You will have to have this memorized. Let's take a look at example one and see how this works. Our six is going to be our a, our b is seven, and our c is a negative three. Our b for the first part is always going to be the opposite sign. So because we have a positive 7, we're going to use a negative 7. Put in our plus or minus, the square root of b, of b squared. I do not need to worry about my sign here because anything squared is going to be positive. So we have minus 4 times our a, which is 6, times our c, which is a negative 3 all over 2 times our a, which was 6. Now we need to start figuring this out. So we have negative 7 plus or minus. 7 squared is 49. I have two negatives here, which is going to give me a plus, so it'll be plus. And since I'm doing this by hand, I'm going to do a 4 times 3, which would give me 12, and 12 times 6 is 72 all over 2 times 6, which is 12. Well, 49 and 72, well, that's going to give me 11, 7, so 12, 121. So I get a negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 121 all over 12. Now this is if you got your all your squares memorized. You would recognize that 121 is a perfect square and that the square root of that then would be negative 7 plus or minus 11 all over 12. I'm going to rewrite this so I have negative 7 plus 11 over 12 and negative 7 minus 11 over 12. Okay, negative 7 plus 11 is going to give me 4 twelfths the negative 7 minus 11 will give me negative 18 twelfths. I'm going to reduce those. So x is going to be 1 third and a negative, let's see, both of those are divisible by 6, so 3 halves. And I've solved example 1. Let's take a look at our example 2. Negative 5 is going to be my a. I have an invisible 1 for my b here, and 2 is going to be my c. Now because my b is negative, I'm going to have a positive here. So it'll be 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times our a, which is negative 5, times our c, which is 2, all over 2 times our a. So simplifying this, I get 1 plus or minus the square root of 1. Let's see, two negatives, that'll be positive, so it'll be plus 20 times 2, which would be 40, all over negative 10. And that's going to give me 1 plus or minus the square root of 41, all over negative 10. 41 is a prime number, it will not simplify, so this would be my answer. If you're asked to give your answer in solution set, that means you would answer it as 1 plus the square root of 41 over negative 10, or 1 and, I should say, 1 minus the square root of 41 over negative 10.